Okay, so you may have seen a video where we turned this data here in that column and that data there in that column into this process data here uh, for working out the slope profile of the beach, which they put into a graph. Okay, this was done at uh, Studland and the Dune succession there. The numbers I, I made up just to show people how to how to do this. Now, the next thing that you might want to do is a kite diagram to show the change in, we had percentage cover of marram grass here. Again, I've made up these numbers just to, um, just to demonstrate this. Now, uh, <clears throat> to do this, you want to have a kite diagram showing the search cover of marram grass at each distance uh, from the high water mark. And you do this because marram grass is a pioneer species and it is therefore much more common um, early on in a succession uh, than later on. And uh, Studland, you can see all of the sears of succession in one place because the dunes get younger the further towards the beach you get. But anyway, I, I digress needlessly. Um, so let's do a kite diagram of for marram grass with increasing distance from the high water mark. So to do this, I'm going to I'm just going to copy actually all of this this data here and go pop it into another another so uh, uh, come on C copy that we're into sheet three that what you got prepared and uh, just pop it in there so come on B Again, I'm doing this on an iPad, so there's no reason not to do this on an iPad. It's just as easy as almost as doing it on your laptop. Okay, so I, I don't need that data. I don't need that data. I need this and I need that. So let's just, I'm going to delete that. So uh, yeah, let's go to that, delete that. And then delete that as well. I used um, control click on there to get that. Don't know what it would be on a, this on iPad. So yeah, control click gets you that. So you could just plot this uh, against distance from high water mark. So you could uh, do, yeah, just do that. And then here we go. And then uh, insert uh, chart and then XY scatter yeah lines between the points there and on you go right but a kite diagram looks like that but with the same graph mirrored below so here is what you do Let me delete that get rid of that right so in for doing my uh, graph here, I'm just going to pop in here that equals that cell there, B2 as it is, times asterisk multiplied by minus one return. 0 times minus 1 is 0. I'm good with that. Now, if I then click on that and click on fill, go down to that bottom right hand corner there and drag it down, I think you know where I'm going with this, don't you? And look at that. What I'm going to do now is, I tried this before, I hope it's going to work again, just selected all that there, and 
and then I popped into insert. Please work. There we go. I did that. And there it is. Okay. Kite diagram of your um, ram grass distribution. Now, providing you make these the same length, all right, for each species, you can then just I mean, delete the, the legend here. Um, I might even delete actually this um, y-axis information here as well. Here where I put, I put in here marum grass um, kite diagram, and then you can copy this and uh, over here, uh, command, control. You, you can copy this, you go, click and hold, no, there you go, copy. Copy it and you can put it into Word or OneNote. And if you have these stacked on top of each other for each species, you should be able to see where uh, the pioneer species decreases down through here and you'll see the species from perhaps the second seer uh, so in this case probably heather increasing and then decreasing there you go kite diagrams on an ipad in excel